Hey, not bad. Well, guys. Ow, that hurt. Oh. Well, guys. Uh, just getting ready to put this video out. And thought I'd record an intro right here by the banks of the Virgin River. This uh, river flows that past many, many petroglyph sites. And a couple of brief notes. This was recorded a couple of weeks ago, or I guess last weekend, a lot of it, when uh, Janet went out with me and we filmed the second viewing of the lower spots. And I went up higher on the hill to record some more data and some more scenes. So it's a combination of my second and third visit to this site. I decided to leave Janet down at the bottom and just came up to this rock here with a bunch more glyphs. And these are quite quite a bit of repatination and very dark, so undoubtedly quite old. Wow. And more glyphs here. These are all fairly recent compared to what we saw down below. This square is interesting too with a dot inside of it. Two dots below. And what I said oh wow to is right here across the way. Cliffs here. And there. More here. And this whole panel here. So, some glyphs there, the spirals, that's an interesting one. Okay, so we've got this line here with lots of, horizontal line with lots of vertical marks. This is almost again like that blanket pattern, so like if you were to picture a Navajo blanket, that's similar to some of the patterns you might see. But this one is interesting. So cool. Oh, wow. Hold on. Let me find a place to put my feet. I'm going to have to zoom out to get this whole cliff. So that is probably two and a half, three feet across. Some zoomorphs up here at the top. So more foot glyphs. More foot glyphs here. More glyphs down lower. A zigzag of sort. There are the multiple zigzags. That almost looks like it could be a Spanish cross. Another anthropomorph there. And more here. And this is cool. Amazing, amazing shot. Never wandered up this high. Let me find another place to walk without crossing across the patina. And here's my first view up a little bit higher. So much to see. An amazing place. Well, this just doesn't end, but this would best be seen from down the other side. The sun's just right to catch these at the moment. And before I move, let me see if I can step across a little bit. 
get some of these. Before we go, we've got to get this. So amazing. And one of our first anthropomorphs. It looks like to be like the Paiute type symbology. And I'm sure there's more here. That will be for an explore for another day. So. All right, heading down. On the way down, the sun is just perfect in this spot. To get another view. These anthropomorphs up here. That big pattern symbol right there. The big footprint. And one final view before we leave. I always think that places like this could be, with lots of glyphs like this, could be places for a an elder to move from glyph to glyph and teach the people who are sitting down below. Interesting spot, a bunch more to see. Maybe, maybe another day, another video. Well, sometimes they say you just can't get everything in one view. So here I am out here for a third day at this site and trying to get this all in one picture. Pretty cool. And one of the newer glyphs, but very cool still. And another one I just found and the sun's just right to see it. Got this glyph right here. Here we are a little closer in. I was able to find some footing. And I've got some other glyphs here next to it. So cool. This is really a neat sight. And it seems it just doesn't stop. And here is the first of this style that I've seen at this site, which is the series of dots. Like each dot is pecked individually or drilled. All right, here's this in a little better detail. Look straight on it, at it. Very, very neat glyph, very interesting. And another footprint. I think this is the first one I've seen up this high. It was here. Oh wow, let me... This is... The more I look, the more there is. It's just amazing. All right. Oh, let's take one more look at this one. Then we have this whole pattern here. Very amazing. Hard to say what that could mean. Got lots of dots here. And dots have turned the lines. And there's in relation to that footprint. That's just very amazing. Here's this other pattern here. Then we've got something, something here too. Get in a little closer. Got this pattern here, kind of interesting. And here next to it, we have another spoked circle. So cool, such an amazing place. And three steps further, another glyph here. And here, and more on top. So very amazing. And just another look at this. Ah, interesting. And here we are, another panel 
more feet glyphs, more spirals, more zoomorphs. Got some concentric circles down here. Some more geometric patterns. Oh, there's a. Let's see if I can find a way to see this. That's a uh, almost like a rainbow or U pattern. It's uh, got one, two, three, six. Looks like six layers to it. Look at this spiral here in the feet. This concentric concentric circles. And more here. And here's another one that's really, really old. Patina is as dark in the glyph as it is in the rest of the rock. So and here's that other circle I was looking at from the top that I couldn't quite see. But you can see how this rock is so fragile.